Well, again, I started to create an online community. I went, uh, you know, I decided to create something that a lot of people who were psychic, who were intuitive, uh, who were healers, what have you, could basically come together. And because I was so good at marketing, I was able to put this together really, really well. And I started meeting all of these wonderful people, and uh, some of them were channelers. And I would observe exactly what a lot of these channelers would do. Uh, connecting to other beings, bringing out all this incredible information, and I was really, really amazed by it. And uh, there was one channeler who was really helping me a lot through the process as I uh, eventually became very, very interested in pursuing channeling myself. And uh, this person started uh, showing me a lot of different methods to how I could connect and how I could do uh, particular forms of automatic writing and starting to connect with a lot of these different beings. A lot of them were from our own sun, a lot of them were at the Pleiadian Collective, the Andromedan Collective, the Lyran Collective, etc. But there was one day, uh, around December of 2008, where my friend said to me, well, you know what, Brad, you have a lot of strong Syrian energies. There's something with uh, the star of Sirius, and it feels like there's something there for you. It might be good for you to go ahead and check it out. So I said, all right. So I got into uh, my state, I went into an automatic writing uh, format, and I just started connecting to the star of Sirius. And when I did, uh, this being came through. I could feel his energy coming through the paper, the pen, so to speak, and introduced himself as Adronis from Sirius. And he basically stated that he was a future version of myself, to which I could really comprehend at that time. Uh, 297 years in the future. There was a lot more to him, but again, he, there was kind of baby steps that he was introducing himself in this way to me. And he basically stated that he's come back here at this time and wanted to assist me in my own evolution spiritually. And that through the arrangement of his contract, as I begin to learn more of my own spiritual nature, I will be able to openly share this with everybody else as well too. So while they are receiving insight from me while I'm channeling Adronis, I'm receiving that insight back. And that's always been the nature of my relationship, whether I've been doing the beginning phases of automatic writing and then moved into vocal channeling with Adronis. That's always been the nature, is that every single session I've done when channeling Adronis, there's been this mutual, amazing, uh, empowerment factor that's come forward. It's been a reflective mirror where a lot of people are asking really, really deep questions to Adronis, and I'd receive that back. So, oh my goodness, this is really, really cool. This is really interesting. I had no idea about that. And so this was mutual learning. It's like we we're all part of a classroom where I was there. I was taking in a lot of this information. Adronis was basically just speaking through me, through the nature of flow and the person or persons I'm with. Uh, we're just letting out all their questions. That's always been my nature of relationship with the channeling state is that there are there's no holds barred. Anything can go relating to the type of questions that people want to ask. I just say, bring it on. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's have fun. Let's have a blast. And let's enjoy the process of channeling.